Two other features that are new in Windows 7 are the shake and snap. First of all, the snap. The snap will resize a window to fit either the right, left, or full part of the screen with a simple click and drag. For example, if I come up here and click on the header bar for the computer window here, I can click and drag the header bar and move the window. And when I move it to the right of the screen, as soon as my pointer here touches the right side of the screen, it'll do a snap. For example, when I click and touch, you see the whitish outline, and I let go of the mouse, it snaps it to fit that portion of the screen. And by the same token, if I come up here and click on the window behind it and make it active, and then I click and drag it to the left side of my screen, it should snap, but it's not. And the reason why is because if you're like me and you have two monitors, here's my monitor one, and then over to the left-hand side I have my second monitor, I have to actually drag this window over to the second monitor and touch the left side of the screen to make this one snap. So if I just click and drag it over to the right side and make it snap, then click and drag it over here, then you kind of get an idea if I just had a single monitor that this is how it would look. The left snap, the right snap. Now before I move on and show you the full snap, you'll notice that these two windows fill up from the top to the bottom the full of the screen. So you'd think if I come up here and I try to move the window down, it wouldn't have any place to go because it would be tight within the screen. I mean there's no more room down below, is there? So if I come up here and I click on the header bar for the window and drag it down, Notice how it automatically restores down to its original size before I did the snap. So for the full screen snap, just click and drag the header bar until your pointer comes up and touches the top of the screen and you can see the whitish outline. Go ahead and let go and it fits the full screen. Now you'd think with the full screen here that I couldn't click and drag and move this window around. But if you're stubborn and you click and you hold the header bar of the window and you keep dragging down, it does a resize or restore down here to its original setting which is nice because when it's maximized to fit the full screen usually to restore it down you'd have to hit on the middle button the restore down as we learned in the previous training video but no just go ahead and click and drag the header bar of the window down far enough until it snaps and it goes back to its original size here the next new feature is the shake if you want to be able to keep one window open and minimize all the other ones down to your task bar then just go ahead and select that one window click on its header bar here for example the computer click on it and then move your mouse back and forth really fast, shake it, and all the other open windows cower down to the taskbar in great fear. If you want to bring them back, then go ahead and click and shake that window back again, and it restores the windows. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you have a presentation, and you don't want to show all the other open windows, then go ahead and just give it a shake. That way you don't have to close out of them, and then when you're done with the presentation, shake the window again to restore them all, and then get back to work as usual. Now, if you don't like these features, the shake and snap, and you want to turn them off because you don't think that they're cool or they're not working for you, I don't know, then you want to come down here and click on the Start button. Go over and click on the Control Panel in the Start menu, and then come up here and click on Ease of Access link, and then up here, go ahead and click on Change How Your Mouse Works, and then down below, check the box, Prevent Windows from Being Automatically Arranged When You Move to the Edge of the Screen. Now, I know that's just the description of the snap feature, but it'll actually also disable the shake. Go ahead and click apply or click okie dokie and then when you're done close out and go ahead and give it a mad shake doesn't work click and drag it to the top of the screen and touch it it doesn't do a full snap or a right snap it seems to me all the cool people use the shake and snap so i'm going to go ahead and re-enable mine by unchecking that box that we just checked thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.